Hey guys, so uh, today I'm looking at picks. Attack picks. Let's see what they do. So today is going to be a little different since I'm going to be playing on my acoustic guitar, not usually what I do. But anyway, so what are these? Well, they're specialized picks that Attack Pick makes. And I've been seeing them all over my social media and I decided to get their Arsenal pack which has every variation that they make. So I want to start with the acoustic guitar, since I think a lot of these uh, pick types are geared towards acoustic tones. And then we'll move on to the electric, I'll do clean, and then I'll do high gain distortion. Because I think some of these picks are meant to kind of shape the sound, even with a really high gain tone. And then at the end, I'll give my thoughts. So the first two picks that we have listed in the arsenal are the Stealth 2.0 and the Stealth XL. Both of these picks are your kind of run-of-the-mill, well, I wouldn't say run-of-the-mill, but kind of standard, pointy, thick picks. They have nice grip, uh, really comfortable to play. I actually like both of these, especially playing the metal stuff. I'm going to play these on the acoustic. They're probably not going to sound super like interesting because they're pretty standard, but they are really comfortable to play with. Uh, then we go out of the stealth, and we have this interesting juggernaut pick, uh, which is basically kind of like the stealth, but it has this drop down like one millimeter um, step on it. It's supposed to be kind of soft and a little bit more warm. Um, it also says it's like really good for bass, so we'll see what this sounds like. Uh, the attack pick, this is the first thing I ever saw from them. Uh, it has these raised bumps on here. Supposed to give your guitar kind of like a 12 string, you know, kind of sound to it. Same with the Ambush, but a little bit uh, sharper of these little bumps. And it's supposed to be a little bit more, you know, a little more attack. Uh, there's two blade picks. Uh, ones, they look almost identical. One's thin, one's thick. Uh, I've played a little bit with these. I don't know if I like them. And I'll get into why that might be a little bit later, but there's two of them. One's kind of thin, the yellow one, then you get a thicker blade too. Uh, these ridges, they produce a little bit more attack. Um, and I did notice that, so we'll see what that sounds like. But it kind of is just that these ridges sort of hold on to the string a little bit longer than make a like, real plucky sound. So we'll see if that's something I, you, me, anybody likes. I don't know. Then they have the Surge, which is it's kind of its own proprietary design. It has these little bumps on it. Uh, it's supposed to be for overdrive, kind of picking for more attack. We'll see if that's true. That's what we're working with. So let's move on to the acoustic guitar.
Okay, so first off, both stealth picks are great. Uh, if you're looking for a really like cool, just easy to play, metal, shreddy, chunky pick, either one of these are good. I really like the Stealth 2.0. Um, I'm not going to say any more about those two because they're both good. Now for the acoustic, uh, these guys, they actually do something. Uh, both attack and ambush have that kind of weird uh, kind of harmonic tone that gives you, I don't know if it's quite like a 12 string, but you know, it it's something. For picking individual notes, Yeah, there's more attack. Um, the ambush definitely has a bit more bite to it. They're both kind of cool uh, for the acoustic. I'll talk about the electric in a minute. Um, these two, eh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not convinced that they're anything special to these. I really don't like this one for anything. Uh, it's too thin for my taste uh, on acoustic or electric and it doesn't really... It's supposed to give you a more compressed like picking sound but... But they really just kind of grab the string and I guess that gives kind of a compression of the two, I think this one's the better one. For strumming, it sounds like a normal pick, but for picking... Yeah, you get that little bit more attack, but I think you could get the same effect with the, uh, the ambush. Maybe a little brighter. The pick that's really kind of amazing to me is this uh, Juggernaut. It actually does have a more rounded, um, darker sound. Very soft. Almost the opposite of the ambush. So, actually, pretty cool. Uh, this guy uh, is kind of in the middle. Little dimples give a little bit of a uh, attack. But it's more like having like sandpaper on the pick, so... Yeah, it's not quite the same. Uh, not bad, but I think I do like this one for the distorted stuff, which we'll get to in a minute. So for the electric, we're getting a lot of the same effects that we're getting on the acoustic when it comes to these two picks. Still getting that kind of uh, 12 stringy kind of overtone. And it actually sounds pretty good. A little more attack with the ambush. individual picking I do think these two picks could do well with like really plucky blues or like really twangy stuff um, they actually do have a, a real effect same thing with this juggernaut when it comes down to the softer tones uh, Yeah, it really does kind of round out the sound. Uh, again, these two guys, they're okay. I would take the orange one over the yellow. It's just too thin. Uh, personal preference. Maybe you'll check them out and you'll like it better. I don't know. The green guy... Kind of 
roughs up the sound. I know that sounds weird because I said it, you know, had like a sandpaper type of feel on it, but it really does give a little bit more grit to that initial attack without being plucky like the other two. Um, not bad. Now, in terms of the, the high gain stuff, this is where it kind of goes a little off the rails. So for the style that I do, the heavy metal stuff, obviously these stealth picks are great. When we get away from that standard kind of pick shape, things get a little bit weird. Uh, I think you will notice that both the <laughs> the attack and the ambush just fell apart when it came to doing like really fast alternate picking because these little bumps just get caught on the strings. They're just not built for that. So. These are just not for high gain, so clean tone or acoustic, cool. High gain, no. Same with these. Uh, they grab the string. They don't really offer anything to the actual sound of the, you know, in my opinion. I just don't, I don't get it. This guy, though, uh, the company says it's supposed to be for overdriven tones. And I can see that it definitely gives a little bit more grit to that initial attack. So it gives you a little bit of that effect that these attack picks do, but it doesn't grab the string, so it it works. It's subtle. I mean, go back to the stealth. Yeah, it's very subtle. But still, not a bad pick. And the juggernaut. It even softens up the distortion, so that's kind of interesting. So maybe if you want to play some really smooth, sweepy leads, you could probably use this Juggernaut pick to get like a little more roundness, maybe. Where you don't want to have a real bitey attack, you just want a really nice, solid note. So, yeah, cool. Anyway, so that's my quick rundown of the attack pick arsenal set. I think they're on sale right now for Black Friday through the end of the month uh, for like 20 bucks for this you know set. You get two of each, so check them out. If you're not really into these like you know novelty picks, I guess you'd call them. Uh, the Stealth is a cool pick. I might actually get uh, just a set of these just to have. So yeah, that's all I got today. Thanks. <laughs>